Sad news to report this evening. Tonight, a DeKalb County police officer died in the line of duty serving the citizens of DeKalb County. An officer shot and killed in the line of duty, and tonight we've learned the suspect accused of killing that officer is also dead. Good evening to you. I'm Marissa Mitchell. Police say the officer was chasing the suspect when the man turned and opened fire. This all happened in DeKalb County along Candler Road near I-20. And that's where News Edge reporter George Franco joins us now live with the latest on this breaking news. George. Well, Marissa, Candler Road has been reopened, but there is still plenty of police activity behind me. An eyewitness told me that she heard about 15 gunshots connected to this officer-involved shooting that left a police canine critically injured, a suspect shot dead, and the officer shot dead. So I have sad news to report this evening. Tonight, a DeKalb County police officer died in the line of duty serving the citizens of DeKalb County. <clears throat> DeKalb County Police Chief James Conroy struggled emotionally in announcing the loss of one of his officers. <laughs> Viewer video shows part of the crime scene where Chief Conroy says the DeKalb County Police Officer had conducted a traffic stop on Candler Road of a motorist with a weapon. Driver of the vehicle fled on foot. The officer pursued him and during that foot pursuit, the suspect produced a handgun and shot the officer. The officer was rushed to the hospital where he was pronounced dead. Chief Conroy says the suspect, meantime, had run into the woods behind a business where he was tracked down by other officers and a police canine who found the suspect hiding. Shannon Zagorin says she saw the police activity, then heard gunshots coming from the woods. We heard gunshots. Um, coming about numerous gunshots. How many? How, how, Probably how? about 15, 15 gunshots. 15. Chief Conroy tells Fox 5 News the suspect shot the police canine, then the officers shot the suspect. Police canine has been transported to an area vet. Uh, he's in critical condition. The suspect received several gunshot wounds, was transported to an area hospital where he also died as a result of his injuries. Chief Conroy did not release the name or the age of the officer who was killed. He also did not release the name or age of the suspect who was killed. He also said this is going to be his last comment on this officer involved fatal shooting because he says the GBI has taken over the investigation. In DeKalb County tonight, I'm George Franco, Fox 5 News. And medics rushed the officer to Grady Memorial Hospital after the shooting. And that's where our other officers gathered in a show of support for their fallen brother in blue. News Edge reporter Carrie Charles joins us now live from Grady. And Carrie, this has been an emotional night for law enforcement across our state. Yeah, Marissa, that's so true. And I can tell you that the news of that officer's death came just around 830 at this time. At that time, rather, this entire street right here, which runs along uh, Grady Hospital, it was packed with police cruisers from a number of agencies. Shortly before nine o'clock, they left here showing that they are all united. <laughs> And emotions, as you can imagine, they are extremely high in the law enforcement community. Before they left here, we saw some officers in tears, others consoling each other, some with their heads held down. Several, they went in and out of the hospital hoping for the best, but they soon learned the worst. We spoke with an assistant police chief from DeKalb County Police. She told us the department is grateful for the support it's already receiving from other departments. Assistant Chief Sonia Parker says they are happy to have close relationships with neighboring agencies and the community. An officer's life is, is just as important as anybody's life. And um, his family is going to be mourning. Fellow officers are mourning. And we hope that the community can mourn with us. And um, their support is just the best thing that we can have. 
the assistant chief asking for prayers from the community. Again, we learned the officer killed had only been with the department for about a year and a half. Live tonight outside of Grady Hospital, Carrie Charles, Fox 5 News. Carrie, many heavy hearts tonight, and of course, our thoughts are with that officer's family. It has been a tragic turn of events, and we have a complete look at how it all unfolded on our website at fox5atlanta.com. There you'll find pictures from the shooting scene, along with any updates from DeKalb County Police as this investigation continues. You'll find it right there on our home page.